Good afternoon once again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the second event of the ERL Touring Car Championship. We're at Brands Hatch this time for another two uh, races of 20 laps each. And uh, returning this week is Big Dog, and uh, he's done a lot of racing and practice on this game, so expect him to be up the front. And uh, we'll try to emulate our success from the previous round in uh, Bathurst. We've got the random good pole, uh, and that's a blessing for this first race. And off we go. Looks like our, our teammate Cut Dude has already moved up to second position, so uh, service resumed from Bathurst. And uh, as we head to Druids for the first time, we have a fairly safe gap back to second. And uh, we extend that uh, for the first couple of laps as um, the rest of the field shuffles into the order that they seem to be paced at. And on lap 4 we have a, a lead which sees us not actually noticing any else on the map. Roughly 5 seconds back to Big Dog I think. But just have a look at this. And auto spin curb if ever I saw one. And we've lost our bonnet and more importantly we've got orange steering damage. So as you may remember from my previous video I said that damage is quite crippling in this game as you can't pit. And uh, You'll see here that my car does pull uh, slightly to the left um, on straights, and now we've got Big Dog to defend from. We got right up to us after that lap four incident. We managed to defend for a good six and a half laps. This is lap 11 now. Um, but he's up the inside in this back section, and uh, we just managed to hold it around the outside. Obviously, he doesn't want to have too much contact with us either, because then he might end up with damage. And uh, anyway, cutting to lap 14, we still have the lead somehow, but we've gone very wide at Paddock Hill Bend. He's going to give Big Dog an opportunity. We're going to defend though, so Druid shouldn't be a passing opportunity. We're going to park it on the apex there. And he came right up to our bumper there, but was unable to get past. So hopefully we can just maintain this for another couple laps. Only five laps to go now, but we've made the same mistake here, sliding at our Paddock Hill Bend. And he has got a run down the inside towards Druids. We're going to break late. See what happens. I think we've managed to hold it again. A bit of contact though. Do this left hander, we have to back off slightly because we're on the inside and it looks like he's going a bit wide. That won't be a problem for him though because he's got no damage and he'll be able to catch back up straight away. And yes, there he is, his relap. Uh, I think it's his teammate actually in Fox Molds. Not having a great event. And with two laps to go. Can we hold out from Big Dog? We've been very patient up until now, but we've gone wide again, Paddy Killbend. And this time, surely he's going to come through. Yep, there he is. We won't give up though. There was a bit of contact there. But uh, he is through. And with the damage, I don't think we're going to have another chance to overtake him. But that's unfortunate, losing it so, in, so late in the race. But nevertheless, a great battle with Big Dog. And we do get close. At the, end of the next, at the end of that lap, but there is a bit of lag, so perhaps we actually weren't that close at the final corner. And cutting it up later, it's lap 20 out of 20. And Big Dog in his first race of the season is going to take victory. Congratulations to him. And, uh, yeah, we'll take second place and extend our championship margin. Fastest lap, of course, to Big Dog. And uh, that is an extra point to his tally. So maximum so far for him. And now we cut to the second race, which is a rolling start reverse grid. Uh, Fox choosing to start the back again, waiting to get, get used to the game before he inserts himself into the battle, I think. And anyway, we're off, and Cena breaking early into Paddock Hill, and we've managed to get down the inside. A bit of lag, though. And it seems that the front two jumped away a slight amount. And so that is Snickers Bud in first and Cart Dude in second. Big Dog also looks, looks to have passed Cena. Hopefully we can get past these guys as quickly as possible and build up a gap before Big Dog gets through as well. But there's another lag spike and Big Dog's car appears in front of me all of a sudden and he just drives through me. That's a disastrous lag spike. <laughs> I guess I didn't get any damage from it, which would have been even worse, but to let through the person who won the first race and seems to have a bit more pace than us, but we're going to go around the outside now. There's absolutely no grip out that wide. 
So that was a slight mistake. It looks like Big Dog already making hay into the front two, passing our teammate Cart Dude. So K and J Racing shuffled back to third and fourth. But Cart Dude, oh, he's gone on the grass, so we're going to get through there into third position, right behind Big Dog. We get a pretty good run through there, so hopefully Big Dog gets bottled up behind Snickers. We might be able to make a move on both. But it looks like he's made the move into the final corner. We're going to follow him through. So first and second from race one are now first and second in race two. And we have a run as well. So is Paddock Hill going to be on for us? I seem to take a different line to everyone else into Paddock Hill, much narrower. Uh, but this time, of course, I broke a bit too late and he managed to do the over and under. So props to him for figuring that out. I did go for a slight move at Druids, but it wasn't really on. No contact there. And it says there that uh, Big Dog's in third position. Well, it says I'm in first, and I can clearly see him right in front of me. So good job, Code Masters. And now he's in second, even though he's still in front of me. And on lap four, I'm going to make a dive here at Druids. No contact. He seems to have gone wide, though. So have we taken first now? Difficult to know with our uh, dials always reading first. But we actually seem to be through uh, into the lead of race two. Here you'll see that a lot of people seem to disconnect from the party and from the session, but still everyone is actually on track. No one disconnects, we're all talking on headset. And in fact, it's said on everyone's screen that everyone disconnected apart from themselves, so that was weird. But another consequence of that lag issue caused um, Big Dog to be ghosting for the rest of the race. It's been really difficult to defend from someone who, uh, well, you can't see for, for starters, and secondly, possibly could go through instead of you being able to uh, place the car strategically um, as we saw on lap one but anyhow we seem to have defended quite nicely there so I'm not sure if my car is solid on big dog screen or not to be honest now on lap 12 uh, this is panning out very similarly to uh, race one except we have a bonnet and no damage but he's coming down the inside there is there contact? no I think he managed to just abort his move before there was contact so good job there big dog turning out to be another slugfest as we pull away rapidly from third position. Although Sneakers Bud did a, a really good job joining for the second race, I think. And um, you can see there that Big Dog has come down the inside and uh, solid and then transparent. But he's got through at the final corner, still in second place on, on my screen. Anyway, we're going to have to try and make a move pretty soon. Look at that difference in lines through a paddock hill, and it really favours a person <laughs> trying to get past uh, in my position. So I'm going to have to go to the middle of the track here to defend at Druids. Seems to have worked. But Big Dog really should have covered the inside line there at paddock hill. And now on lap 20, it looks like we're going to take a third victory of the season. Big Dog right behind, so a thrilling race. In the gap was six tenths uh, for his win in the first race. This gap is three tenths, even closer. And he again gets the fastest lap point. So a clean sweep of fastest lap for him. And uh, what a thrilling couple of races at Brands Hatch. Next race at Harama. I'll see you guys then. I've been Jacko. Next time.